the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's special message is in a question shape. Where does in the Bible Jesus ever said, I am God, worship me? So we'll be speaking on this question. Is Jesus God? Should we worship him? The Christians will be talking on that. Any scriptural text, especially the Bible, that say so. Now God, when he speaks of things, when he talks of his own characteristics and who he is, he is very, very explicit. For instance, in, in Isaiah 46 and 9, G, uh, God says that I am God and then there, no, there is nothing else. I am God and there is none like me. You, uh, also, the verses that Jesus quoted, he said, Hear, O Israel, which is one that is quoted in the Jewish synagogues every, uh, every time they have service. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is but one God, and then there is none else. And we all know the verses. You can go through the Old Testament and read about God's characteristics when he describes himself. It is always explicit. Now, there are some verses in the New Testament which can be implicitly interpreted as Jesus having claimed some type of divinity. But if that was such a big characteristic, if it was such a big deal that Jesus was God, if this was the way to salvation, that he was God in the flesh, come to sacrifice himself for the sins of humanity, then that is something God would have been explicit about because it is an issue of salvation. God does not beat around the bush about these type of issues when it comes to who he is. He is very clear with the children of Israel. I am God. There is none like me. Do not worship anything else. Period. And Jesus came and quoted the same very verses. So if it would have been an issue of salvation that he was God, he would have very clearly stated, I am God. I am God. He would not have told the, the Jews when they said that you call yourself God. He said, you say that I am. He would have very clearly said, yes, I'm God. And I'm here to save you from your sins. He never stated that in anywhere and it's never referenced in any scriptural text of any religion whatsoever. So therefore, if God is so explicit about his nature, why when it comes to him becoming a man, why did he not explicitly state so? Explicit, meaning explicit. that it's lucid, it's clear, it's, clear it's cut un the unambiguous. Where does it say in the Bible that he's not God, don't worship him? It's a question to Muslims. And uh, suppose if all the idol gods of the world keep on saying, I am God, but they don't have any authority and power, what will the meaning of that and sense of that? For example, if Allah says, I am God, he should show us his power. He doesn't have any power, he's an idol God. From Ham's tribe, Muhammad stole, snatched that God from Ham's tribe with the power of sword. So, what does it make any sense if somebody say, I am God, but he's without power and authority, cannot create anything, cannot do anything, cannot introduce any, anything. What is the meaning of that God, which Islam has? But on the other side, if somebody says, if somebody does not say, I am God, but all the power and authority is with him. No matter he says or not, I am God. The power and authority reveals his whole authority.
not. Young man, I say unto thee, arise. Visited his people. Goddesses in the world, but idol gods. In Islam and Quran, there are about six, seven gods, and uh, one is the god of Abraham. You read that in the book of Abraham also in other books also in the Quran. Then there is about, uh, written about uh, um, Allah of Hums tribe, volume 2 of Bukhari, Hadith number 1664. And then Quranic uh, Allah, the stolen Allah, Muhammad stole it from the Hams tribe, introduced in the Quran with the power of sword. These are all introduced in Islam and Quran. I have talked so far the three Allahs, Abrahamic Allah, Hamsi Allah, who was idol, an idol, Muhammadi Allah, Muhammadi Allah and Hamsi Allah without power, without authority. And then uh, comes number four. In the book of uh, uh, Surah 6, verse uh, 76 to 79, they picked up three lords, a lord. In, in Urdu means Rab, in, in Arabic means Rab, owner, lord. So they picked up in these three verses, Surat Anam, in Quran, verse 76 to 79, 77, 78, 79 is specific, sun, moon, and stars without any authority, without any power. So whatever Islam has in their God area, Lord area, without power, without authority, but they love to call, to be called Lord or God. <coughs> if Leaving aside only one which is the biblical God, God of Abraham, which is also mentioned in Quran. He has a power and authority. He created the heavens and earth. He created the whole universe. If he doesn't say I am God, but the power and authority is highlighted many ways. Even if he doesn't say I am God, but the power and authority proves he is God. That's fine. Not like Quran, if they say I am God, but without power and authority. They don't have anything, they don't have any power. What does that make any sense? 
empty slogans of Islam about their God. No power, no authority, nothing. Who should be God then? God is that authority who has the power and authority. Matthew chapter 28 verse 80 to 20 it is about Jesus Christ. He doesn't he did not say I am God but the power and authority of the heaven and earth is with him and in him. He did not say I am God but the power of the authority of heaven and earth is in him and with him and through him. So there is no sense if he says I am authority but he is without authority and power like Islam. Think about that now. And he is God who has the power on the on, on the death and the word of spirits as the spirit word the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 he has the power and authority if he, if he doesn't say I am God but he has the power and authority so you have to see the power and authority not only if somebody is keep on saying, keep on saying, keep on saying, I am at God, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am God. But there is no power and authority. Think Islam, Imams, Consultative Islamic Committee, think about that. Muslim debaters, think about that. If your God keeps on saying, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am day and night in the heaven, in the earth, and here and there and around the world, empty slogans. I am God, I am God, I am. Without power, without authority, that is a bullshit. Jesus Christ did not say, I am God, worship me. Only stupid can keep on repeating those slogans on this the, the, the stupid ones and up uh, and uh, God is that God who has uh, the power of life and death in his own hand about himself also John chapter 10 verse 18 Jesus said I have the authority to give my life and take it back that is God he should not keep on saying, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am God. He doesn't have a power to take the life back and then give it and take it back. If he doesn't have that power, he's nothing. Did you understand now? That the previous wisdom has also gone. Okay. God is that God who is sinless. Jesus said, who can prove sin in me? John chapter 8 verse 46. If your Allah is Islam, if your Allah is sinful and he keeps on saying, I am God, I am God, I am God, I... What is that nonsense? Think about that. Power and authority and the qualities prove who is God. Mere in writing, if he says I am God, but cannot do anything, is equal to zero. Anybody who has the power to forgive sins is God. Matthew chapter 9 verse 5 and 6. Jesus has the power to forgive the sins of the people. Anybody who has the power and authority to give healings of each and every disease, each and every disease, an evil spirit, casting out evil spirit, he is God.
Mere keep on saying, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am God, and cannot do anything is good for nothing. Answer is zero. Your God is zero. Muslims, you understand now? Do you understand now? Or did you understand now? Anybody who has the power on the over or on the nature is God. Jesus has that God. Jesus have that power and authority. Read the book of uh, Mark. You will find it there. Matthew, you will find it there. On winds and storms, rains, Lord Jesus has the power to stop it. Stop! It is stopped. That is the power. He doesn't have to say, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am. And the storm is there, and people are in problem, and he cannot stop it. What kind of. That, that God is who says, I am God, I am God, I am God, but cannot perform the miracle? Cannot have the power of, the, of, of on, on, on storms and winds and all that, like like uh, a love Quran. Think about that. Think about that, Muslim debaters and con Islamic consultative committee and Islamic governments. Think about that. Imams, think about that. Think about that, my friends, whose titles are unique at the time of birth. Titles. In their titles, there is one special title. This title is given in the prophecy, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. When this child grows and came in the age where he was crucified, these five titles were still there. Mighty God. Do you think Jesus need to say, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am God? And all the power and authority which I have mentioned is not, is absent in his personality. What kind of God he will be if he keeps on saying, I am God, I am God, I am God? Do you understand now? Muslims, consultative Islamic committee, now you understand that? The, I think this is enough. If you take Quran in your hand and you start finding all this power and authorities and find equal to nothing, then shame on you. Your first surat In Quran, let me read that to you for your clarification. This is uh, by Dr. Mustafa Khan, Noble Quran, verse 6 Guide us the state way. The way of those on whom you have bestowed your grace. Show us the straight path. Us. Your Surat Fatah is the best Surat in the all 114 Surats. So in the presence of Allah, 
in the presence of Quran, in the presence of Muhammad, in the presence of Hadith, in the presence of Jokhelev, nobody has the power and authority to show you the state path and you are still praying for the last 1500 years. Where is your God and what is his power and authority? That is question from us now. In return, Don't dare to throw sludge and mud and garbage on Christians. Give the answer of this question which I have just thrown. Show us the state path, the path of those on whom you had the favor of grace. Find it out and you say, if you have an answer, we will talk later on. Come to Lord Jesus Christ, repent your sins and then uh, from your sins and uh, say, O oh Lord, I have made a big mistake. Accept me today. I will never challenge the Christianity and the Christians. I will never challenge the people of God. And today I have come to know the power and authority of Lord Jesus Christ. If you say that, come to him, he is ready to receive you. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>